So here we are today at DisplayLink Computex 2011. In my hand here, I have the latest iPad 2. One of the you're, most lucky, you're lucky enough to actually get one. One of the most sought after <laughs> devices. It's not mine, I wish it was. Uh, this device right now, you can see we're actually streaming YouTube video right now on this device. This is completely Wi-Fi. There's nothing connected at all to this. Mm -hmm. um, this device is actually streaming video using DisplayLink's latest application, which is available today on the iStore. Um, this device is actually giving an extended window from our PC here. We're running a standard Dell XPS platform. This could be any platform here. And through DisplayLink's application, it's now enabling this iPad to become a secondary display. So you could use this for business applications. You could use this for extended spreadsheet usage. You could use this for extending your emails. If you want to write an email at the same point in time as you're actually seeing information from uh, web browsing or for documentations, reports, production, this is going to enable your uh, production levels, your productivity levels to enhance quite considerably. We typically find by adding secondary and third displays, productivity can go up by as much as 40 or 50%. So here, the ultra portable device that you've got with the iPad and the iPad 2, and this will work on both devices, so, let's show how this can work. Here we have full mouse control. You can see me moving the mouse into the screen so I can go back and forwards between these devices. And if I click on play down here, this is a standard YouTube video, then you'll see that that video will stream, come up, and run very naturally on this device. So here we are. This is actually an image coming from one of the latest shows that we've just come back from at Interrupt 2011. And in here we're demonstrating a number of DisplayLink devices. So this solution, uh, and DisplayLink's known for uh, hardware, is, so this looks like it's just a software solution. Can you, can you tell us a little bit more about how it works? Absolutely. So here, we're running just software. So DisplayLink, normally we have software and hardware, with our software doing the compression capabilities and our ASIC doing the decompression capabilities. The iPad solution here is purely a software solution. So you, no modifications at all, no external devices needed. This is just running from a standard Windows PC to a standard iPad. This software is actually available today right off our website. It's available from the iTunes site. And you can see right here, this is actually the DisplayLink website. You can go to our iPad software. And today this is available as a free download. We're running this for around about the next month. So you can download this today and run it and have it up and running on your iPad today.